Hey, yo, 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 what's up, what's up? Holla at your boy. Welcome once again to another review with your big bro, with your homie, Pastor Smell Good on the Fragrance YouTube channel. So excited to have you guys here with me. And today we're going to have some fun. But before we get into the fun like we always have on this channel, I need you to go ahead and like the video now because guess what? You already know how we coming. You already know the substance we're going to bring. You already know the good time we're going to have. So go ahead and hit that like button. It don't cost you nothing to like the video. Jesus paid it all, baby. So let's just go ahead and like the video right now. Also, as we're perusing through the video, I want you guys to get your comments ready because I love to hear from you and talk back to you in the comment section. All right. And remember, please, if you have not subscribed, click on the subscribe uh, button and go ahead and push the bell for all future upload notifications. Because every time I drop a video, I want you to come on in the room. I want you to be a part of this experience as we continue to grow in FRAGCOM together. How does that sound? All right, let's go ahead and get into it. For the sake of today's video, we're going to take a trip to the house of John Barbados. Let me tell you guys something. Trust me, mark my words. John Barbados is making his stamp and he is making his presence known in the fragrance community. Yeah, I know a lot of you guys say his fragrances don't last, but let me tell you what his fragrances do well. They push the envelope. There are bold fragrances. John Barbados is not a trend follower, but I believe he is a trend setter. And I'm so glad to own an uh, assortment of John Barbados fragrances. And today for the review, I want to talk about John Barbados's Dark Rebel Rider. Right here. Boom, shaka, laka, lock. John Barbados, Dark Rebel Rider. Okay? Now, what I love about this fragrance here is the packaging and the presentation. I'm not too much on that type of stuff, guys. The most important thing to me is the juice. Uh, I'm not one that really talks a whole lot about uh, packaging and bottling and all of that. But I got to give my brother some props. The name of the fragrance is Dark Rebel Rider. And I love this theme because these people that work for John Barbados... They did it right on this one. L guys, just look at the bottle. The bottle itself is amazing. This bottle is solid black with a gold fleur-de-lis on the top. And as you can see, there's a zipper that goes down the shoulder of the fragrance. But the whole entire fragrance, apart from the neck, is actually solid leather. And watch this here. The zipper on here is a functioning zipper. You can pull it down and you can pull it right back up. Guys, they didn't cut corners with this. They did not cut from their budget for the sake of packaging. I know they spent some money on this to put real leather in a real zipper on the fragrance in order to support the overall theme of this fragrance. Okay, now let's talk about the box. I want you guys to see this. Guys, I'm just like Big Bear Business when it comes to the box. I'll take my fragrance out, throw the box out, and never care to see it again. But this is amazing. I love the graphic that's on this box. You have a man featured in a leather jacket. Now, why do you think a man is featured in a leather jacket and the bottle itself is wrapped in leather? You know why? Because it's a leather fragrance. Guys, this is absolutely amazing. I love what they did on this thing. I'm geeked up. I have a 2.5 bottle here. I was upset I couldn't get the 4.2. But listen, this is backup bottle worthy because what you don't want them to do is neuter this fragrance and uh, reformulate it and water it down. This fragrance is awesome, guys. I'm just going to tell you that now. But this is a 2.5. I want to get my hands on the 4.2, the 125 mil. Okay, so let's talk about the fragrance. All right. What are we going to get? in John Barbados's Dark Rebel Rider, okay? In order for us to fully comprehend that, let's go ahead and spray on my right hand here 
just to reintroduce ourselves to the fragrance. Because this was my scent of the day today. I'm dressed in all black. It was a little cold outside. I was able to put on my nice jacket. Mm, you know, just do all that John Barbados, Dark Red Rider stuff. But anyway, let's just go ahead and spray. Boom. All right. Went ahead and gave myself a quick little spritz. Okay. Now let's talk about this fragrance here. All right. Now, notice I'm not rubbing my fragrance together. I don't want to create friction on it because that messes up the molecules and it bruises the fragrance. So we're just going to let it air out. When you first spray this scent, the leather note will knock on the doors of your nostrils and say, hey, I'm here. Okay. Guys, when you spray this, make no doubt about it. You are smelling genuine quality leather. Oh my goodness. Not only are you going to get the leather straight out of the atomizer, but you're also going to get a very uh, noticeable spicy saffron in there. Okay, so you're going to put a little bit of spice on that leather. Just think of some spicy floral saffron on top of the on top of the leather. But on top of the leather, guys, and on top of the saffron, you're going to get this piercing zing of citrus. I pick it up because in the top notes, it's listed. You're going to have some lemon and you're going to have some bitter orange. And for a person that loves lemonade like me. And for a person that loves oranges, satsumas, mandarin, grapefruit, listen, I know citrus when I smell it. And you're going to get quality amount of it here in the opening. Oh, this is absolutely wonderful, guys. It's great. And I also get a little bit of the aldehydes that I mentioned there. Uh, the opening will also list there some hyssop, there's some majorum in there, but hardly noticeable, hardly noticeable. I think the purpose of those notes being in there were to bring out other notes, not so much to be uh, dominant in the fragrance. But in the opening, guys, from the first initial blast, that leather is going to make its presence. It's listed to be in the base, but I believe the leather note is so amped up that you get that immediately. You're going to still uh, have it in the heart and you're going to also have it when you get to the base. That leather's there. Going to have some spicy saffron resting on the top. And on the top of that, you're going to get that beautiful duo of citrus. Okay? So, it takes about maybe 10 minutes. This fragrance does not take long to develop and come into its full self. Okay? Because as we've already established about John Barbados' scents, uh, the longevity isn't that long anyway. So, if the longevity is not that long... We don't have to wait that long for the fragrance to fully develop and come into itself like a powerhouse fragrance like Dior Own Parfum. Baby, I stay in the open end of that fragrance for about 35 minutes. I mean, it's something serious, but the fragrance lasts 12 plus hours. So we understand that, right? Okay, then when we begin to get to the mid of this baby, in the notes are listed some iris. I'm an iris lover, guys. But it's not very noticeable, okay? I know all things iris, okay? Baby, I can smell iris growing all the way out in Italy. When you look at these nostrils on my face, okay? I can pick up iris, but noticeably in this fragrance, it's really not that strong, okay? I am going to notice that there's going to be a powderiness of some black violet in there. I do get that. I get the black violet. Uh, I get a little bit of smokiness in the mid, in the heart, and that's because of the Somalian incense that is in this fragrance. So as John Barbados' Dark Rebel Rider uh, begins to develop on your skin, you're going to transition from the spiciness or the uh, citrusy nature of the opening, and you're going to begin to come into a smokiness and a little bit of a powderiness in the fragrance, okay? And maybe this thing just starts working really good. You got some benzoin in there. You got some balsam. And those sweeter notes begin to really put some weight and takes the fragrance to another level, okay? Now, in the base, guys, you're going to be dealing with some tough stuff, okay? And you're going to come across that base in about 20 minutes, okay? But when you get there, you're going to come across some patchouli, so, you know, you're going to have a little bit of earthiness in there, okay? As I said earlier, 
Leather is also listed in the base, but we got the leather from the initial blast, okay? I sent some vanilla that I do pick up, and guess what else I love? Some cacao. Boy, do I get that cacao in there. So when you take all of these notes, guys, from the opening, from the mid, down to the base, when you put all of that together, and this fragrance completely comes into itself, you're going to get a very leathery, sweet, I want to say almost earthy fragrance, but it's not too earthy in being that it becomes a dirty scent, okay? So in other words, this fragrance is not a dirty, rugged leather, but it's a classy, it's a sweet, it's a refined type of leather. And guys, that's what I love about this scent. Now, the scent is marketed or themed to deal with the bad boy or the leather jacket, Harley Davidson riding guy. But let me tell you something. I will put this on with some slacks, with a white shirt, button down. I will put a tie or a bow tie on and I'll ride this baby into the sunset. This is a classy scent to me, guys. This is leather done right. Oh my goodness. This scent is absolutely wonderful. That vanilla and that cacao, it just rounds it out so very well. Um, I could see a guy pulling this that's a little more rugged because the leather is so strong, you can do that. But you've got the classy refinement of the vanilla. You've got the classy refinement of the cacao. Um, you just got that incense working together for your good. This fragrance is something, guys. I am really, really impressed with uh, John Barbados' Dark Rebel Rider. Now, this is what's interesting here about this scent. And I want to talk to you about this for a second. You know in Fragcom, when you really begin to develop your nose... When you spray one fragrance, it can remind you of 10, 20, 30 other ones. So when I spray this scent, guess what's the first scent that comes to my mind? Watch this. And some of you may guess it. And some of you may not. But you know what scent comes to my mind when I spray and smell this? Thierry Mugler's Pure Leather. Now, this is what I want to say about that, guys. Pure Leather by Thierry Mugler, my second favorite designer fragrance house, is utter, profound, unequivocal trash. Yes, it's trash. I paid about $30 for a full bottle of it, and I sold it within two or three months. Fragrance is trash. And I'm going to tell you why I say that about that fragrance. Because they called it Pure Leather, but it's made so cheap that the leather they're trying to market smells like cheap suede. So to me, pure leather doesn't even smell like leather. This fragrance with a leather theme, make no doubt about it. This smells like leather. This smells like high quality leather. I'm talking about the leather on a quality wallet. I'm talking about the leather on a quality jacket. I'm talking about the leather in a quality luxury car. That's what this fragrance smells like. So in other words, John Barbados' uh, Dark Rebel Rider is everything that Thierry Mugler's Pure Leather wanted to be. This is so refined, guys. The leather done in this fragrance, guys, this is not cheap leather. This is not imitation leather. This is not um, something cooked up in a lab to come off as leather. This is some real good quality, genuine leather. And I'm really crazy about it. Now, before I close out the video, there's one more thing I want to tell you before I get into my final rating of the fragrance. I like this fragrance. But you know what they could have did with this fragrance to make it a little bit better for me? Okay. And not saying they had to do this because, listen, 
If they want this to be successful, they're going to need way more people than me to buy. It, okay? So I'm not knocking John Barbados at all, but I'm saying for a person like me that appreciates this fragrance, that likes this fragrance, there's one thing they could have did to make it more impressive to me. And guess what? It ain't longevity. Mm -mm. It's not performance. You know what I would have loved for them to do with this quality baby right here? This is it. If they would have put a bourbon, scotch, or any type of boozy note in this thing, whoo, call the police, baby, because I would have never went home. I I'm telling y'all. This is something else here. If they would have put a booziness in this, now I know some people may say, well, if you put a booziness in it, you're going to send it in the direction of Carolina Herrera's, um, what's that fragrance? Carolina Herrera, Privé, something like that. Uh, some people may say, well, if you would have uh, put the, um, if you'd have put the boozy note in here, you would have went in a pure malt direction. I think it would be better than both of those fragrances. Okay, C.H. Men Privé. That's it by Carolina Herrera. All right, so last thing I want to say, what I also love about this fragrance, guys, the notes blend together to give me a caramel gourmandish effect on this fragrance. And I love caramel. I love gourmands. I get a caramel a chord. Uh, there's something going on in here with these notes. Caramel is definitely not listed, but with the way everything is blended, I get a caramel leather. And that's why I told you guys, this is a sweet leather. This isn't a rugged type of leather to me. This is a sweet leather. And the sweetness that I get from the combination of the notes is like a caramel. It's absolutely beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. Sweet, sweet baby Jesus. But let's move on, okay? Let's go ahead and get into this thing. I've already carried this video on for probably about 17 minutes now. So let's just go ahead and get into the final rating of the fragrance, okay? Let's talk about this, guys. First thing first, performance in terms of projection. I get about an hour and 30 minutes, two hours if I'm lucky, of good projection off this scent, okay? And that's not bad. Um, I can live with that. I'm not upset about it. So I get about maybe one and a half hours or two hours uh, projection. So does this fragrance get up off you? No, not for too long. Not, not for too long. I have fragrances that do a much better job of that than this one. So let's talk about longevity. How long does this fragrance last on me today? Uh, I say anywhere from uh, five to six hours. Okay, that's what you get with John Barbados. Everybody knows performance is not his strong point, but his sense of beautiful, his sense of bold, his sense of daring. And I can appreciate the fact that they're ready to blaze the trail in some of their old factory themes and, 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 and moves that they're making. Really, really love that. OK, uh, let's talk about compliments. Have I gotten complimented in this fragrance? No. But that doesn't matter for two reasons. Number one, because I wear fragrance for me. Compliments are a byproduct of me liking it. So I'm not wearing it solely for that. I haven't worn this fragrance many, many times. I've worn it enough to be able to review it. But I haven't worn it many, many, many times uh, to where people were able to smell it on me when I was wearing it. So... Uh, I didn't get any compliments on it, but I don't care. I think I smell good, and that's what matters, okay? So we talked about the projection. We talked about the uh, longevity. We talked about the compliments. Siage, do I get a scent trail with this? I'd say about two feet. I'd say I get about two feet worth of siage. Uh, this fragrance is a smooth operator. He's very stealthy. Uh, he's not just going to go bounce himself off all four walls in the room and say, everybody, hey, honey, I'm home. No, he's not going to do that. But I will get about maybe two feet uh, at best of sillage on this thing. Okay, so what's the occasion? Well, here's one. <laughs> if you're going to put on a leather jacket, 
Put him on. You ain't going to choke nobody out with no John Barbados fragrance, so don't even worry about that. The only thing I would caution you to do is to uh, watch your sprays when it's really, really hot because leather in the heat will proliferate. I promise you that. Leather will proliferate in the heat. So you want to be very careful with that. As I said earlier, you, you have a healthy dose of vanilla in there. You've got the benzoin. Uh, you've got the cacao. And when you get those sweet notes under a lot of heat, it may become a little bit cloying. So just, just be careful about that. Uh, mind your sprays, and I think you'll be perfectly okay. But listen, if you're a guy that rides a motorbike, you got the jeans on, you got the boots, you got the leather jacket on, I'm telling you, I don't know what fragrance is better for that, okay? If you're that type, type of guy, I really don't. Some people may talk about Tom Ford Tuscan leather, but I think that's too classy to talk about getting on a motorbike or something. Uh, you want to have this fragrance. You want to nail it. You want to do this the right way. I had on all black today. Uh, I had on a jacket that was black as well. Uh, got a full beard. So, you know, I had a whole bunch of other stuff working together uh, to put on this type of fragrance. But as it relates to the final rating, you know, guys, I do five stars on this channel. So let's go ahead and talk about this. John Barbados, out of five stars, I give this fragrance a three and a half out of five. That's not bad, guys. That's 70%, I want to say. So that's not bad. That's almost 75%. That's almost shooting three-fourths from the line, Okay. That's not bad. The reason I didn't up the fragrance more is because of the performance. Okay. If I could have gotten 10 hours out of this, this would be an easy four. Then I'd be shooting 80% from the line with this. But because of the performance, and I know John Barbados is going to get it fixed. I know they're going to work this out because the fragrances are too beautiful uh, to sacrifice uh, more sales in it because they don't perform um, like some of the other options out there. Okay, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video today. I hope it wasn't too long. If it was too long, tell me in the comment section. I won't get offended. I'll fix it next time. But guys, I just want to come and give due diligence to this awesome fragrance here. I'm glad to have it in my collection. I'm looking for 4.2, 125 mil because this is backup bottle worthy. And guess what? So what? It doesn't last long. When it wears off, Spray some more and be happy. Okay? God bless you guys. Talk at y'all later.